Hello YouTube, welcome to Dr. Vibes, a learning point. If you are having confusion between what is ductule, duct, lobule, asini, lobe, terminal ductule lobular unit of the breast, then this video is for you. Now we all are familiar with the classification or the division in the respiratory system. We have the tracheus, we have the right and the left bronchus. Each bronchus divides into some conducting bronchioles. Each conducting bronchioles divides into terminal bronchioles and these terminal bronchioles end into air filled bags that is called as a cyanide. Now just homologous to this is your breast. In case of in place of alveoli, you have a cyanide of the breast which is the milk producing units. In case of terminal bronchiole, you have the ductule or rather the terminal ductule. In case, in place of conducting bronchiole, you have the ductule. If this is the ductule, this is the terminal ductule. In place of the bronchus, you have the lactiferous duct. And in place of trachea, you have the major or the main lactiferous duct. And this main or the major lactiferous ducts opens into nipple. So what is TDL, TDLU? TDLU. That is terminal ductule lobular unit. So this thing is called as the TDLU. TDLU comprises of the asini. See asini. There is the terminal ductule. And there is the distal part of the tubule. Distal part of tubule. This forms the one TDLU. So now you will say me. So what is a lobule? See. Here if I broaden one asini. Then there are many milk producing bags. This is called as a lobule or a asini. And this complete thing is called as a lobe. So let us go from smallest to the largest. The milk producing thing is called as asini or the lobule. And these lobules are connected through interlobal ducts. Many lobules will form one lobe. This lobe is connected with the ductule, terminal ductule. Many terminal ductules together form a ductule. This leads to the formation of lactiferous duct, which opens into major lactiferous duct. And here a lactiferous sinus is also present and that opens into nipple.